So here we are onto the third video and here we have some 3D printed parts that are used to hold the electrics. So it all kind of screws together as parts, previous parts did. Um, here we are sticking one of them on. This will uh, carry one of the drag trains. Another part. Very nicely 3D printed and kind of threaded as well. So yeah, it takes a little bit of um, humming and hawing about which goes where, but other than that, it's fine. Yep, so here's the drag train. This keeps all the electronics nice and tidy, so nothing's getting caught in the uh, getting caught in the in the machine. Takes a little bit of finicky to get going to get it all in together, but kind of goes together nice and smoothly. And then this is the uh, X one. More parts. And here we are sticking on the top piece of the Z axis. It just transfers all the power to the stepper motors and all the electronics that we need. Feeding through the wires. Here's the power supply. So it's 24 volts taken down from what's 240 for me. Um, pretty straightforward to put it all together. Just follow the instructions and no kind of forcing them. That's the amp meterage or the voltometer, I think. This is the power switch. Yeah, just make sure you read the instructions and put it all on correctly. And the power. That power switch there is your master switch if anything goes wrong. Here we are attaching this. This is a 3D assembled or 3D printed part and then just assembling all the wires onto the, this, uh, this power supply. Just make sure everything goes in the right place. Just takes a bit of coming home to make sure it is. And screwing the last piece together. These are safety switches, so you want to make sure these are on correctly and wired correctly, because otherwise uh, something will go wrong if you you don't want it, you want it to stop working if it's not going to work. These are fans to cool down the CNC control uh, controller, little computer. Just putting them together nicely. This is the little machine. And just making sure all the wires are in kind of nicely. A few wires to stick in here, all those separate motors, about 20 or 25 wires. Just make sure you take your time with it and you should be fine. Yeah, just take screws to put in. A little bit of patience, you'll be fine. And that's about it for the electronics. A lot easier or simpler than putting together the rest of the 